Hello and welcome to another weekly market update. After the market uh, closed, well, we're just into trading action half and way into the 10th of June today, actually. I usually do this on the Sunday night, but I wanted to see how the market opened today because it's very, giving very mixed uh, signals. It just can't seem to, uh, you know, make its mind up, really. Um, so here's the big picture. We look at the S&P 500 over the several years. You see the bottom here and uh, each little up and down peg is a week of price action. It's smoothed out for us by this average of the last 40 weeks, which is the blue line at any given point. And the red line, which is over the last 70 weeks, sometimes I look at that as well. Um, so uh, the bull market started here with my proprietary signal and it ended here with uh, my proprietary signal making good profits and it's kept me in cash. Uh, for that that kind of you know that more of that investment longer term bigger picture mode since 22nd of October and has not yet given me a signal to get back in for all this up and down um, indecisiveness really um, and I've been waiting I was hoping to get a brand new signal which probably would have been at the end of this month then we had this uh, bad week here which upset the uh, <clears throat> the trend a little bit. Uh, I did say that if it broke that 2800 down, it was going to go down further, and it, it did. Um, but it and then it just did a big reversal again last week with a very strong um, starting up week uh, that we'll look at more closely in just a second. And it looks like it's following through on that today, which was what I was uh, waiting to see. So very uh, interesting action. I must say, I mean, if I do get a, a brand new bull signal, it's going to be a weak one. Uh, and it may be that I have to, you know, wait a little bit longer uh, to see something more more convincing because of that. Um, what we really, what the market really needs to accomplish now is it's got to get an all-time above this all-time high here. If we turned around, I did mention that three thousand is an important psychological round number, and I was remember I said that if it turned away from that for the shorter term, that wouldn't be good. It did turn away; it wasn't good. So now it's going to try and have another run at it. And that's going to be the big test. If it if it can break three thousand, then it's looking good for like okay, we could have a brand new bull market here. If it turns away again, um, or doesn't get up, at least up to this high here and turns away, we could have an ominous kind of top uh, forming here. But as I look at this right now, at this point in time, obviously it's still in, I'm still in its cash since last October, and really it's just uh, it's, it's, it looks like a toppy chugging sideways uh, kind of market here that's. Um, you know, just kind of is that for, could be that frustrating time when it, the market's just you know is telling us to just sit on the sidelines and uh, wait it out as it has done since last October, as I said. Let's zoom in on the six month picture here where I get a bit more detail. Um, so here we see that bounce of last week, but one of the telltale signs here that is a little bit ominous is down here I see the volume, which is the kind of conviction behind this move of the large institutions. And what we see here is what we should see here is the volume, these little bars rising as the as these this rises, but it's not. It's been going down, and um, <clears throat> we're also saying this is a quite a stretch and overbought situation right now. That's not to say it can't stay overbought. Um, but um, one of the you know weaker you know weak indication of this is it's not it's not telling us everything, but it's that that volume. We've got to see if this can can keep it up, not run out of steam, and break this important point here I've been explaining about above above here twenty nine uh, fifty. So uh, it's definitely uh, playing us up, and that's usually a time to be honest. Which you know, as my signal has said, you know, just stay out and uh, and wait. Let's see if we can see what else is going on and the other signs. Um, volatility uh, is still uh, still pretty low. That's not really saying much. Uh, the rush into Treasury, as I explained about last week, which is typically a move into safety because people aren't liking what they're saying. It's kind of uh, holding up there, staying up on the higher ground. So there's definitely money you know, looking for uh, a safe haven. Um, that could be the, the Fed move that's coming up as well when they're predicting uh, that they're going to raise rates and that could be a surprise when they, if, they, if they don't. Um, and now uh, and there's the dollar which is also holding up. So you know money is, is, is going it's definitely in safe havens. it's staying there and the stock market is no guarantee but it's not showing it's showing signs of running out of steam. So we just have to uh, see what happens here. In other news, let's look at Bitcoin. Um, this has been um, a story we've been following. That anyone still thinking that Bitcoin is, uh, you know, the story is Bitcoin's dead. This is going to blindside people if it carries on as it has been going. There's the 
um, here's the Bitcoin story um, and it's uh, you know it was going down for a long time and it's it's got a you know just it's fighting its way back and the 40 week moving average is starting to turn up here and it's consolidating which was good because you don't want it to get off a too too crazy a start but it's got a nice jump here and it's just bouncing around in this kind of box here waiting for its moving averages to sort of catch up with it so it's all um, steady action uh, uh, there as well so uh, that's all for this week and I will speak to you next time.